So guess what guys, Rust has become the second official language used within the Linux operating system. So let's check this out. So before we get started, I wanted to thank all you guys, all my new subscribers to the channel, as well as for all you guys hitting the like button and sharing as much as you can. I definitely appreciate it. And if you want to support the channel, you can also find me on Patreon where you can sign up for any of the levels that I have set up over there. And I'm still working out the details of what I want to offer for each level, but currently it's set to just support the channel. But I definitely appreciate all you guys doing it. I want to give a shout out to my man Mitchell. He's been supporting for a very long time. I definitely appreciate it. And you guys know that that money goes right back into the channel. Any money that you guys donate to the cause. And I'll definitely keep doing my part by trying to help guys get into the IT field as well as learn the Linux operating system. Now, I did a live stream this weekend and the Rust programming language actually came up. During that live stream, it was a question in the chat. And I was talking about how I'm starting to see a lot of utilities being rewritten in the Rust programming language. And so I was checking all my articles that I get throughout the, the week in my email and RSS feeds. And I saw, saw one that was rather interesting and it ties to that question about the Rust, Rust programming language is actually starting to be heavily used within the Linux operating system. And I wanted to read you guys this article right fast. So let's hop over to the website and get started. And as you guys can see, it says Rust takes a major step forward as Linux second official language. And underneath it, the subtitle states uh, Linux is getting more Rust in it by the day. So I thought that was super cool, you know, them saying that. But this article came out uh, December 7, 2021. So a couple days ago or actually yesterday. And it was written by a Stephen J. Boggan Nichols. And it's an excellent article and I wanted to just read a little bit about it or read a little bit of it so you guys can get an understanding that Rust is one of the next popular languages that people need to start looking into and learning how to actually use because I see it being heavily used within Linux operating system as well as a lot of other people. But it basically states it wasn't long ago that the very idea that another language besides C will be used in a Linux kernel and would have been laughed at. Things have changed. Today, not only is Rust the high level system language moving closer to Linux, it's closer than ever with the next patch series to add support for Rust as a second language to the Linux kernel. So that's very interesting right there. It's just letting you guys know that it will be, you know, an official language that's added to the Linux kernel you know, after these next patches that come out. So that's super dope to see, you know what I'm saying? And it also states the biggest change in this, in those new packages is that the Rust code proposed for the kernel now relies on stable Rust compiler rather than beta compiler. So that lets you know right there is almost official, but going forward, Rust on Linux will be migrating every time a new stable rust compiler is released and it's currently on rust 1.57.0 so they'll constantly be updating it and rolling it out with each new kernel release and then it says by doing this as linux kernel and lead rust on linux developer miguel ojeda uh put it by upgrading the compiler we have been able to take off the list a few unstable features we were using this in turn means rust on linux will be more stable looking ahead uh, ojeda wrote uh we will keep upgrading until we do not rely on any unstable features at which point we may want to start declaring a minimum rust version is su supported like it is done eg gcc and claim uh senior linux developer greg croa Portman had told me he believes drivers are probably the first place for Rust to appear in Linux since they are the end leaves of the tree of dependencies in the kernel source. They depend on core kernel functionality, but nothing depends on them. This has been 
coming for several years now at the virtual 2020 Linux Plumbers Conference where the top Linux kernel developers hash out Linux future. The idea of introducing Rust as the kernel's second language was introduced. And then it says why while Linus Torvalds is is sure Linux won't end up being written in the Rust, but then that's not the goal. No one is going to rewrite the kernel 25 million lines of C in Rust, which is true. I don't think anybody would go through and rewrite the full kernel in the Rust programming language, even though that would be a cool project. But it says, uh, led by Josh Triplett, a Rust language lead, and Nick Delsonier, a Google engineer, they proposed using the system level Rust language inside the kernel. And then why? Because it's much safer than C, especially at handling memory errors. As Ryan Levick, a Microsoft Principal Cloud developer advocate explained, Rust is completely memory safe since roughly two thirds of security issues can be tracked back to handling memory badly. This is a major improvement. In addition, Rust prevents those issues usually without adding any runtime overhead. Levick said. Torval sees the av advantages. While he's encouraging a slow but steady approach to introducing Rust into Linux, he has also said that using Rust interfaces for drivers and other non-core kernel programs makes sense. I'm convinced it's going to happen. It might not be Rust, but it is going to happen that we will have a different model for writing these kinds of things and C won't be the only one. So as Ajada told Zednet this summer, the project is not finished, but we are ready to get mainlined if high level maintainers accept the current changes and prefer that we work inside the kernel. Most of the work is still ahead of us. Still work well underway now. I expect to see the first Rust code in the Linux kernel sometimes, sometime in 2022. So that's a dope order, article, interesting. Uh, and as you can see, Rust is being introduced within the kernel pretty soon. And this kind of explains why a lot of people are recreating, you know, certain utilities that run on the Linux operating system uh, in the Rust programming language, which is super cool. I think I did a video on a couple of rust applications not that long ago i believe the tilde command that i talked about in a previous video is written in the rust programming language so definitely check it out and you'll see more and more support for rust in the near future when it comes to the linux operating system so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel and if you can go on and leave down in the comments your thoughts on rust being introduced into the kernel so I hope you guys have a good day and keep it techie.